let's do a quick overview on all the antibiotic medications. Here we have our medication classes of all the antibiotics. It seems like a lot, but when you break it down, it's not so bad. First, we have tetracyclines. The suffix for this is cycline, which is easy because it's in the name. Here are some examples of the individual medications. Again, they're really easy to recognize because of that suffix. Then we have fluoroquinolones. These end in the suffix floxacin. Again, fluoroquinolones, think floxacin, they sound very similar. Here are the individual names for fluoroquinolones. Instead of remembering each individual drug, just remember fluoroquinolones end in the suffix floxacin. Now for sulfanamides. This one is super easy. The prefix is sulf. Here are some examples of this prefix in the individual medications. Now for cephalosporins. Again, super easy. The prefix is ceph, sometimes spelled C-E-F, sometimes spelled C-E-P-H. There are many individual drugs under this medication class, but don't panic. That's what the suffix is there for. Then we have penicillins. Easy peasy. The suffix is psyllin. As you can see, the individual drug names all have that psyllin, so you can easily recognize these are penicillin antibiotics. And lastly, we have aminoglycosides and macrolides. These end in the suffix mycin. Now, it's important to note three antibiotic med classes have very similar suffixes. Macrolides end in mycin, aminoglycosides end in mycin, and the glycopeptide vancomycin ends in mycin. So these individual medications, you'll want to commit to memory which one goes with which medication class since they have very similar suffixes at the end. These pharmacology flashcards have over 100 of the most common medication classes seen in nursing school and the NCLEX. You can find them on my shop, Nurse in the Making. Happy studying, future nurses.